and keeping crime out. But first at five, if he did what they say, this man is a monster. Accused of raping a woman and riding on her stomach with a box cutter. Good evening and welcome everyone. I'm Paul Cameron. And I'm Maureen O'Boyle. The details are enough to make you squeamish. Not only do police say Keith Campbell raped his victim, he allegedly tied her up and carved the word mine on her stomach. Campbell is in jail tonight facing a long list of felony charges. And as Steve Onisorge reports from Hickory, it has shaken the neighborhood where this allegedly violent suspect lived. In the part of Hickory where it allegedly happened, it's usually a pretty quiet neighborhood. People are still in disbelief. I cannot believe anything about like this happening. The man accused couldn't have done it, say his neighbors. He wouldn't know why he was stooped this level, no. But authorities believe there's enough evidence to keep 41-year-old Keith Campbell behind bars. In my career in law enforcement, this is one of the most brutal attacks I've seen on an individual. The woman told police she knew Campbell and was in his house when she was tied up, raped, then cut with something like a box cutter. The word mine carved on her stomach. Early Saturday, she escaped, jumped in a car, and took off. She drove herself immediately to the hospital to seek medical attention. For and her they way. called the law? And yes, the hospital police notified us and we responded. Campbell was arrested several hours later. The suspect made no statements. Uh, uh, Didn't say he was sorry? He did not say he was sorry. He did not admit uh, any guilt. Campbell's friends say he is innocent. Keith would never have done anything like this. They want police to keep working on the case. And authorities say they will keep investigating the case. In fact, they say, from the evidence they've seen so far, they expect to file more charges. Campbell was being held without bond, but in court today, bond was set at $1 million. A probable cause hearing is set for next month. In Hickory, Steve Onisorge, WBTV, on your side. And police say the victim's wounds did not require stitches, but were deep enough where she could be scarred for life. Well,